Hello. You're going to meet a girl named Mercy. But don't be misled by her name. After you meet her, you may think you know what she is. But don't be too sure. But even she doesn't know. Lights out! Really, Dr. Lawson, why don't you answer your door? He's a man to have no privacy at bedtime, even from his housekeeper. There's a girl to see you outside in the hall. A what? A girl, a young female. I have no time for females, Mrs. Abernathy. Young or old, and that includes you. I'm about to go to bed once my mattress is inflated. Well, stop pumping that contraption. Dr. Lawson, if you are a famous scientist, why can't you live like other people? Why can't you sleep in a bed in a bedroom? Because this saves time, Mrs. Abernathy, and time is of... The essence. Yes, I know, Dr. Lawson. But what are you going to do about this girl? Girl? Oh. oh. Well, how did she get in? I didn't hear the bell ring. Well, I'm not sure it did ring. I just turned around and there she was. She came riding the strangest four-legged animal I've never seen before. It had a sort of a... a sharp horn. No, not a horn, exactly. A sort of a... A sharp bump. No, not a bump. You know, exactly. Mrs. Abernathy, your imagination is really quite... Yeah. Did you hear that? I apologize for breaking in like this. I've tried to reach you for days. I need help badly. Help? My name is Mercy Device. Very little I can do about that. It is rather an odd name, isn't it? I've often heard you lecture at the university. I have a favor to ask. Would you spend the weekend with me at my house in Wakefield? Well, it's Friday night, and surely you have no classes at the university until Monday. My dear young lady, I... have lady, a very I've... vexing personal problem. For years, I've been living with a poltergeist. Well, your morals are hardly my concern. Oh, well, you don't understand. A poltergeist is a, a spirit, a power. A secondary personality, an imp, a ghost. It's fastened itself to me and gives me no peace. Oh, no, no, it's invisible. And it's destructive, erratic, noisy, Miss cruel, device. mischievous, unhelpless. Miss Device, please, you're wasting my time. I have never seen or heard a poltergeist. And as a man of science, I do not believe in them. Now, good evening. Oh, please, Doctor. I'm alone in the world and have to earn my own living. Well, you could understand how it would count against a girl in business with this... this thing constantly messing about in her life? Well, it's all in your mind, I assure you. I wish that were so. At any rate, you can hardly expect any reputable scientist to bother. I suggest you consult the Psychical Research Trust or some of those fakers. Oh, they already know about it. Mr. Birdlip, their president, phoned me only this morning. Birdlip? Yes, he wants to make a big thing out of it. Put me in the papers. That sounds typical of that charlatan. I'm turning to science for the last time. Please, you've got to help me get rid of this thing. Or I'll be forced to consult Mr. Birdlip. Oh, Mrs. Abernathy, will you please bring my overnight bag, the one that's packed. Now, young lady, before I undertake this fumigation, I want it clearly understood that I shall be ruthless in my exposures, that I shall not be responsible for any claims by you of liable, compromised virtue or the incidental slaughter of poltergeists. That's fair enough. Thank you. Here you are, Doctor. Oh, Mrs. Abernathy, I, uh, find rather to my astonishment that I'm going away. Now, tonight? For the weekend. Oh, my car is right outside. You did say car. Yes, a convertible. Why? Well, I had heard it rumored that you traveled only on four-legged animals. What was that? 
animal. It was that animal. That's Caprice. Caprice? It was that animal. Yes, you'll get used to it. I saw it. You and your animals. Well, I saw it, I tell you. I saw it. What does this mean? Three four pence. Oh, that ridiculous phrase. I haven't the slightest idea of what it means. It just keeps cropping up as though Caprice were trying to tell me something. Oh, here's your coffee. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, but you look so funny. Device. I am not impressed by your cheap tricks. Cheap tricks? Are you here to help me or discredit me? I am here to help you by discrediting you. Now you must understand there is no such thing as a poltergeist. Oh, I understand that quite well. Only Caprice doesn't. Good night, Doctor. Sleep tight. I am the savage unicorn, the gentle virgin tames me. She's handcraft am I born, her discontentment shames me. But on the day when she's content, I'll lay me down and shed my horn. Sixteen eighty two. Who pumped that up? Thank you. Clap trap, absolute clap trap, and I'll prove it. Hello. 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 Stop this now. This is this is utter nonsense now. <clears throat> now stop it now. Now stop it. I'm warning you. This is silly. This is ridiculous. You're not impressing me. I'm not frightened by all of this. Now stop it. I I'll get you. I'll get you. It's the last thing I ever do. better now? Mm-hmm. Well, you better get some sleep. Well, don't leave me. Well, I... Please don't go, please. Doctor, you certainly are distraught. You know, I... Well, I suppose I'm not very good at it. There's no doubt a science to it. Uh, more of an art. Well, really, it's quite simple. Well, I must talk to Pearlie about all this. Pearlie? Thomas Pearlie, my associate. He's uh, 
He's president of the Foundation for Pure Science. I'll have him here first thing in the morning. Oh, first you'd better get some sleep. My mattress. Somebody punctured it. Oh, doctor, I am sorry. Well, how can I sleep? You'll find some pillows in the closet over there. Thank you. I hope you'll be comfortable. Provided there are no further manifestations. I'm hardly in the mood. I've had quite enough for one night. Three more dories, four pigs. Three more dories, four pigs. How did you sleep? Badly, thank you. Nightmares all night. Not surprised. You're the third investigator that's had the same troubles. But don't give up yet, Doctor. You don't know what it's like to be such a curiosity. No one visits me anymore. And men stay away from me. I'll never be married. And all because of Caprice. At least I think it must be Caprice that's responsible. I'm not terribly unattractive, am I? Thank you. You know, if I could cry, I would, but I can't. Can't what? Cry. I never could. I cry inside of me, but I never shed a tear. It's very strange. I never did like weeping women anyway. Well, Dr. Purley should soon be here. Precise and profound thinker, Purley. Between the two of us, we'll lick this poltergeist. Oh, Mr. Birdlip's coming here today, too. Birdlip, that idiot, coming here? Yes, he phoned this morning. Oh, well, who fixed the phone? I guess Caprice did. Oh, come now, you cannot expect me to believe You can that... believe what you like. Birdlip said that neither you nor Pearlie knew which end was up. Oh, he did, did he? Well, never fear, Mr. Device. Mr. Birdlip shall soon know which end is up. Three Madwaris forward. Well, what do you make of it, Dr. Purley? This mysterious phrase that keeps bobbing up all the time. Surely there must be some simple scientific solution. Well, I think so too, Doctor. Well, where is the subject, the girl with the strange name that I just met? Well, I saw her outside just a moment ago, singing to the cow next door. Singing to an ordinary cow. Well. That's a bad sign, don't you agree, Doctor? I certainly do, Doctor. Last night, in the middle of the night, I was awakened to hear her talking to herself in some odd archaic language. Some forgotten Cyprian tongue, I would say. An old Cyprian tongue. Worse and worse. Oh, this all hangs together perfectly. I'm afraid there's only one possible conclusion. She must be a witch. Really, she must. Now, doctor, as a man of science, I can't even agree that witches ever did exist. Oh, now listen here, Doctor. Scattersmith, I have it here. Volume 2. Uh, uh, enumerates the following symptoms for witches. Uh, inability to weep. Frequently seen with non-existent animals, such as unicorns. While asleep, frequently speak in archaic tongues, often sing to cows and other beasts. Uh, liquids boil at their touch. Well, doctor, these things could all be coincidental. Uh, Would you care for a glass of sherry? Oh, thank you. Yeah. We're having spaghetti for luncheon. It's not much to offer. Oh, spaghetti's fine. Fine. Yes, fine. Fine, I'll bring it right in. Doctor, boiling liquid. Oh, she must be a witch. She really must be. Uh, what is our next move? Well, doctor, I think it's time we looked into this girl's past. Oh, how do you know she has one? Well, Doctor, I don't mean it that way. I, uh, I think we should investigate her ancestors, don't you see? <laughs> This gentleman is very stupid and hardly scientific. Perhaps we had better end our agreement and let the Psychical Research Trust take over. Better a bird lip than two bird brains. Why 
Why, Mr. Birdlip, how nice. Ah, uh, Miss Device. So happy. Oh, it's so nice you could come. To celebrate our association. You have decided, haven't you? Yes. Yes, I have. Welcome on our side, Miss Device. Science. Boy. Perhaps Mr. Birdlip is the true scientist in this case. You've lost any... Never place. mind that, Mr. Vice. Just tell us where your ancestors lived. That is, where you were born. Well, Brokenshire, just outside of Salem. Why do you ask? Salem, you heard that, Doctor? We must go there at once without delay. Why, yes, of course. Whatever you... Uh, Salem, my, my, my. Au revoir, Mr. Vice. You shall hear from us. We shall return. Don't bother. Let's see now. 1682. Device. 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 Ah, here is the case of a mercy device. Well, we're on the right track, Doctor. She was a witch, gentlemen. An ordained witch. An ancestor, no doubt of it. Uh, shall I read it to you? Please do. <clears throat> mercy device was a bewitched virgin who did much damage to the property and belongings of her neighbors. After being declared a witch, she was sentenced to be hanged. She went to her death unrepentant, and so the name of Mercy Device shall be forever accursed. The cost of a hanging includes the expense of a new gallows, food for the magistrate, and damages to the house of a witness by the witch's uh, unicorn. Uh, the cost of her deliverance remains against her on the records of Brokenshire. Three Midoris, fourpence. A Midori. Uh, they were Portuguese coins, sometimes used as legal tender in our colony. Well, I'd like to pay that debt, if I may. Oh, but Doctor, yes, now, why really not? Don't be right. At the current rate of exchange. Here's ten dollars. I think that'll take care of it. Now, if you'll please mark it paid. There. I believe that satisfies all the legal requirements. I hereby declare the estate of Mercy Device free and unencumbered. A wonderful demonstration, Miss Device. I shall personally write an article. The title? A Park Sun Sign. Rather good, isn't it? This man Lawson has disproved nothing, right? Yes, I'm afraid that's so. Ah, good. Very good. And following that, uh, there'll be a lecture tour and demonstrations. Now, uh, as to the press conference, I yes. personally believe that... Yes, I'm back. And Mr. Birdlip's disreputable organization has cried, Voter guys, for the last time. Nonsense. Caprice has already done his stuff. Has he really? Tell me, Mr. Vice, since 3.30 this afternoon, has the furniture moved? No. Have uh, any pictures fallen off the walls? Has any invisible force knocked at the front door? No. Have you any skeletons in the walls? No. Has the telephone rung? No. Hello? No. Wrong number. There, you see, everything just as it was. Yes, it's true. I feel somehow that it's really true. I feel a sudden lift. A new energy. Miss Device, you are a great disappointment to the spirit world. If you are returning to town, I should be glad to give you a lift. Why, yes. Yes, of Thank course. Thank you very much. Let science and the spirit world exit hand in hand. No hard feelings. <laughs> oh, I can't thank you enough. Here's the way I'm going to miss Caprice. I sort of feel like we'd murdered somebody. I guess it's better this way. I'm not really a witch, am I? No, of course not. Not now. What does it mean? It means your debt is all... There is one other thing I almost forgot, but... You mean it's not all over? Well, 
You see, Dr. Purley and I found in our research that there was once a, an ordained witch with the same name as yours. No relation, of course, but... Well, the name of Mercy Device is supposedly accursed forever on the old record book. And we have to go by the book. Well, I don't see any way we can alter it. Don't you? Don't you really? No, I... Uh... You've helped me so much, I guess I should... There is one way. There is? We can change your name. That is, if you'll marry me. Dr. Lawson, you're so clever. You think of everything. At this point, it looks like Dr. Lawson is bewitched and bothered and bewildered. Yes. 